Google search can be really powerful in sending potential customers to your online store. But how do you get ranked in the first page of Google with the search results? Well, the first step is to make sure that you've optimized your Shopify store correctly so that the Google bots find it. There's a couple key areas that you need to optimize on your Shopify store to get ranked in the search engines. And we're going to be going over all of that in this video. So first off, you have the homepage title and description, and don't forget about the social sharing image too. You can find these under the online store and preferences. Next, you have the meta description. So this is the search engine listing, and you can find this under collections, products, pages, and blog posts. So whenever you're actually creating your photo and uploading it to Shopify, make sure that you've saved the keyword that you're targeting in the name of the photo file itself. And then you can also go in and customize the alt tag with your keyword for this photo. Adding in the alt tag for photos is a great way to add in your keywords there too for the search engine bots, but also for visually impaired people that have pages being read to them by software. So for the search engine listing, you'll have a few different things that you want to customize. You have both the title, the description, and the URL handle. And for all of these, you can put in your keywords and optimize that. So before we go into examples, let's talk first about keywords and how you can figure out the best keywords to use for your Shopify store. When you're thinking about keywords to be targeting for SEO, you really want to think about how your ideal customer would be searching for and finding your product online. So let's give a general kind of example of boots. No one is going to go to Google and just type in boots because, oh my gosh, that's so broad and you would get millions and millions of search results that would be just so much time to try and go through. Well, you don't want to really target the keyword of just boots then because no one's going to be really searching just specifically for boots. Instead, again, think of how your ideal customer would be searching for that product. So probably not boots. Women's boots, meh, it's still pretty broad. Black women's boots, better. Black women's leather knee high boots. Okay, well now we're going somewhere. Now we're a lot more specific and this is something that we can do specific for that individual product and could be a lot more likely of someone searching for this and it includes a couple different keywords in that one main long tail keyword as well. So I recommend coming up with a list of about one to three keywords per product or collection or page that people would be searching for to find your store. You can actually go and estimate the search volume of how many people are actually searching for that specific keyword in a free tool called the Google Keyword Planner, which is really helpful to figure out just how valuable a keyword is and if it's worth your time to actually optimize your product on the site for that, or if no one's really searching for it and it's not really worth the time and it's better to find another keyword that people are looking for more. But okay, let's take the keyword now of women's black leather knee high boots and let's customize our search engine listing with that keyword. So for your title, you have 70 characters. You want to put the keyword towards the front and also look for ways to add more keywords in. So women's black leather knee high boots with zipper on the side. Now you've got women's black leather knee high boots as a keyword knee high boots is a keyword knee high boots with zipper on side as another keyword leather knee high boots there's so many different things that people could be searching for and it gives you a couple different keywords in this one main phrase next we have descriptions you have up to 320 characters however i recommend you keep it at 160 characters or less so that it doesn't get truncated by the search engine preview you want to use your keyword and your variations again, but don't make it sound robotic. Remember that real humans are going to be reading this. So while you do want to optimize for the Google bots that are going to be searching your site, you want to make sure that it is still readable and that a real human is going to read it and go, yeah, okay, this sounds like what I'm looking for. Also don't keyword stuff because then that's just going to totally flag Google against your site as well. Okay, so back to our example. For a description for this product, we could do something like shop stylish black knee-high women's boots in a variety of sizes. Super comfortable women's leather knee-high boots with zipper for a great fit all day long. Again, you don't want to be too repetitive with your keyword and you want to make sure that you're able to make it kind of woven throughout so it doesn't sound too repetitive and it's still a good description to read that describes your product accurately. Also, you have your URL handle. So here you want to keep it short and sweet, but still look at ways that you can add that keyword into the URL handle itself. So you may not want to do your 
full long keyword, but something a little bit shorter that can be easily shared whenever you're pasting your URL and, and sharing it online. So for this example, we may wanna do a URL like black knee high boots and have that be the URL. It really depends on how many products you have that are similar. If you need to add more into the URL handle to kind of differentiate between all of the different products that you have, or if you have more of a limited selection, it's really gonna depend on your store and your individual products. Honestly, SEO is really not that hard once you understand the key fundamentals of it. But what it is, is very time consuming. Just to research all the keywords and then optimize the pages on your site, the products, the collections, all of that, it takes a lot of time. But this is where the opportunity lies because a lot of small business owners don't do this. And so if you go in and optimize your site, you're going to be setting yourself up better for the long game. Search engines like Google, it tends to work better over time. So the longer you've got this optimized and you're ranking for certain keywords, the better you end up ranking higher and higher in the search engines. So it is that long game of organic traffic instead of quick little bursts of traffic with social media or paid advertising. So I know I went over a lot in this video about SEO, but would you like to learn more? Because I could honestly go into a more of a deep dive for my favorite SEO tools, how I manage and track performance for keywords for my Shopify stores, as well as my link building strategy. Let me know if you'd like to learn more about SEO and some of the behind the scenes for my Shopify store. Just comment something below like more SEO please and let me know. Also check out this video over here next, which is the top 12 lessons that I've learned since opening my very first Shopify store in 2011. Dang, that makes me feel a little old. <laughs>